Well, you know, as you're traveling up the Dalton Highway, one thing visitors should know is that you've got a huge wetland complex to the, to the east of the Dalton Highway. It's called the Yukon Flats Basin, and it's a, it's a very unique uh, wetland production area. It's not highly visible from the highway, but be aware it's there. It's 11 million acres large, and it's one of the most unique breeding grounds in North America. This huge wetland basin was set aside as Yukon Flats National Wildlife Refuge in 1980 to protect the habitat of hundreds of fish, mammals, and other wetland-oriented species. We've got, we've got many, many birds. It's birds, birds, birds. And uh, although we have a wide diversity of other animals and all the supporting biota underneath birds and the wetlands that support the birds, the birds are the reason the wetlands were set aside for refuge status. Although there are about 30 birds that live on the refuge year-round, most of the birds are migratory. Well, it all starts in the springtime, and during the springtime there's birds coming to Yukon Flats and coming through and past U U the Yukon Flats. And we have several million birds that come through the refuge each year. Hundreds of thousands of those birds stop and nest on the refuge, and hundreds of thousands of more birds go beyond the refuge boundaries and on to the northern areas beyond the Dalton Highway and farther up north. These birds and the immensity of the wetland ecosystem make Yukon Flats Refuge an ideal outdoor laboratory. We also have a climate change focus here at the refuge and the Yukon Flats is, is turned into kind of a laboratory or a, a focus here in Alaska because there is a lot of obvious change going on. We have a lot of wetlands here in, on the Yukon Flats that appear to be drying up. And so we're taking a very close look at that. Yukon Flats National Wildlife Refuge is not only a bird nursery and outdoor lab, but it's also a place used by people for recreation and subsistence activities. You know, as with all the wildlife refuges we have up in Alaska, the Yukon Flats is open to hunting and fishing, recreation, boating berry picking, all the different types of outdoor activities that people can, can uh, do. So it's, uh, it's not highly accessible though, you have to work to get there. To get to the Yukon Flats, you've got to come up the river on the Yukon River at the Yukon River Bridge, or you can drive out to Circle and access it on the Yukon River from that end. So there's, there's lots of ways to, to, to access the uh, country, but it is a very rugged, rugged place and uh, people should come prepared.